Hey guys, uh, as you may know, uh, the Oscars are this month, so I wanted to review movies that had won Best Picture in the past. I may do some other, I may review some other movies just to keep you guys up to speed on what else is going out there, what else might be worth seeing, what what you, what you might want to pass on. But uh, other than that, this is what I'm really excited about. So I decided to start on not only a winner of Best Picture, but um, this is considered one of the greatest movies ever made. And I'd actually never seen it before last night. We're going to start with Gone, Gone with the Wind. All right, so Gone with the Wind stars Clark Gable and Vivian Lee. Um, I'm just going to give you guys a, like, a really rough, really quick breakdown because there's so much going on in the movie that it's, it's, it's really hard to... It's really hard to explain everything that's that's going on. So basically, uh, the movie follows Scarlett O'Hara. She's this stubborn, or not stubborn, but she's this spoiled, spoiled little brat. Her father's a landowner. They're from the South, and it's like right around the time the Civil War's kicking up, and they're and they're these kind of people are like, oh, those damn Yankees, you know, they're they're those kind of people. And so, Scarlett O'Hara, you know. She's spoiled rotten and she just, she hates it when she doesn't get her way. And, which is exactly what happens at the start of the movie. Because she's in love with this guy named Ashley, who's actually marrying this other woman named Melanie. But there, there's this other guy who's fallen in love with her. And, and that's, he's betrayed by uh, Clark Gable. And so basically, the movie's a big love triangle, but it's a really well-told love triangle. It's it's not like those chick movies that us guys are just like, ugh, well, this is, I can't believe I have to sit through this. So what happens is, Ashley marries Melanie, and so despite, so despite Ashley, uh, Scarlett O'Hara marries his little brother, and she's quickly widowed. He dies like almost right at the start of the start of the war, and now and now she's this widow in mourning. But she's bored and she never really loved her husband, and she doesn't want to be in mourning. So her mother says, "Well, why don't you go stay with Melanie at this other place in state here in Georgia?" And so that's what she does. She goes and stays with Ashley, Ashley's wife, Melanie. And all the while, Clark Gable's still kind of pursuing her, and you know she entertains him. You know, like she'll let him buy. Buy her stuff and everything, cause he's this uh, he's this really rich Southern gentleman. But uh, after the war's over, she goes home to Tara, where she's from, the plantation where she's from, and like the like the North is just torn it apart. They don't have anything left, and that and they're taxing them like like a ridiculous amount. And she's like, I've got to fix this. So she marries this other guy. For the money, and then she ends up like building his business to this ridiculous degree, and then that guy gets murdered, and then finally she marries Clark Gable, and her and Clark, Clark Gable, they end up having a kid together, but she's like, oh, I don't want any more kids because she still thinks she's in love with Ashley. But then, but, but then at the end of the movie, Melanie ends, is end is dying, and Melanie's like. You need to take care of everybody, my son, my husband, and especially your husband, because he really does love you. And, but, you know, at the end of the movie, you see that, like, she, you, you can slowly see her starting to realize that how much she actually does care for her husband. And so, at the end of the movie, she goes running home, and he ends up leaving her. And I know that was a lot to take in. It was a lot to process really quickly, guys. But if you didn't like my review, well, quite frankly, my dears, I don't give a damn. All right. So, have you seen Gone with the Wind? If you if you did, what did you think? If not, you should go watch it. But if you have, tell me tell me what you thought of it in the comments below. All right, guys. I'll see you soon.